In this video, we'll be talking about the Quiller Quote Block, and specifically the parts of it you'll use most often for building quotes. If you want to dig into setting up specific kinds of pricing, we have separate videos for that. So let's get started. To start, I'll add a new quote block to this page I'm working on. It's right here in the block menu. My new quote block is set to AUD as default, but I'm quoting in USD, so I'll go ahead and change the currency type. Now let's try adding line items and sections. This default quote comes with one section, but I can add as many sections as I want. They're useful for organizing my products and services. I can even move sections up and down to change their order. Quiller has two section types, table or plan card. We'll cover these in depth in the videos on setting up your pricing. If I have a finished section and I want to save some time, I can just clone it and then edit the clone and I can also delete any sections I don't need. Now let's go back to the original section. By default, it contains one empty line item. I'll put in a description, a unit price, and a quantity. See how the total price calculates automatically from these inputs? And it recalculates as I make changes. While I'm in here, I'll also customize the unit description. You can add, move, clone, and delete line items just as you would whole sections. But let's talk about saving and reusing parts of your quote. So here I have a finished quote and know that I'll want to reuse parts of it on other proposals. Quiller makes that easy. Here in the block options menu, I can save the whole quote block to my saved block library. Then I'll be able to quickly add it to any other page in the future. In this case, however, I just want to save a few of the individual items. So I'll do that from the options menu. Now that these are saved, I can add saved items to any other quote block. I just click the Save Line button to access the library. Next, I want to add some taxes to this quote. That happens here in the Block Options menu. Here in the Tax section, I'll click the arrow to head into my library. I'll delete the default taxes and create entries from the state or local taxes as needed. And now, I'll head back to the quote and enable them both. I do have a few items in this quote that are tax exempt. I can exclude taxes from a line item in the options menu. The next thing I need to add is discounts. Quiller lets you apply discounts to individual line items, sections, or a whole quote. And you can save a library of your commonly used discounts. I like to use a new customer discount. So let's set this up in my saved library. I can get into the library from any of the options menus. I'll add the name, and then I can create a percentage or dollar amount off. Now I'll head back into the quote. I'll add new customer discounts to this section and also to this plan card I'm recommending. But if I want to apply the discount to everything in the quote, I could just head down to the total box and add the discount here instead. The total box has some handy display options. I can display the taxes separately here and also the total of all discounts. But let's change the look of this quote. Speaking of the display, my quote has a section of services where I don't need to show the unit costs or quantity. All I need is the total price. So I'll click the icon to hide these two columns. For other sections, I want to show the unit details, so I'll leave them visible. If I need to, I can also change the quote block's labels. I can translate them to another language or just give them new names. Finally, I can add styling to my quote. Click along the top edge of any section to access the styling menu. I'll change the color of my quote section headings and also set up a highlight color for those discounts. And that's it. These tools will be useful in every quote that you build. Remember to check out our videos on one-time and recurring pricing. And if you ever have any questions, reach out to us at help at quiller.com or click the help button in your app.